Hello everyone. Today we will design a game called Cat and Mouse. The cat's mission is to eat all the mice here and then win the game. Okay, now I will try playing it for you to see. Here it is. And the cat will eat the mouse. When we click on the cat or the mouse, the mouse will stop. And the mission is, we will move the cat to the mouse's position to eat the mouse. Okay. Now we will start designing the cat and mouse game. First, we will change the backdrop for our project. Here I will choose a backdrop. Then we will delete the old characters. And we will choose a new character. Let's call it part two. Okay, now our mission is to make the cat follow the mouse pointer on the stage. Okay, now when we press this flag, we will make it point towards the mouse pointer. Okay, now let's put it in a continuous loop so that it constantly looks towards the flag. Okay. There, now we see the cat looking. Watch it. The next task, the next step, we will make it move towards the mouse pointer. Move towards the mouse pointer. Whoa. Nah. We can see it moving towards the mouse pointer, but it's quite fast. So we will adjust it to slow it down by changing the steps to three steps. Okay, now let's watch. There it is. Son. Now our task is to make the cat move continuously. So we will modify and redesign the costumes here. First, rotate this leg down to create a walking effect and rotate it back. Long. Rotate the tail a bit. Okay, continue. We will duplicate it and adjust the left leg. Then we will rotate the tail a bit. Okay, continue. Finally, we will rotate it upwards. Okay, now we will program it to change. Costumes. First, drag out a flag. Then we'll use the forever block. Now we will make it. Change costumes continuously. Then, drag out a change costume block and set it to 0.2. Then, Okay, now our cat can move with two legs. Okay, 0 0.1. Next, we will create some mice so that the cat can catch these mice. First, we will select the mouse sprite. Okay, here. Now the mouse will move. It moves around the room when it hits a wall. It will move back. Okay, let's drag out the start block. And make it move. And move continuously. So we will put it in a forever block. Okay, until it hits a wall. Then we will make it bounce back. Okay, hits the wall. Okay, let's try running it. And okay, now we will make it move around the entire room, not just back and forth. 
Now we have a block that says, point towards. Okay, point towards, then we will give it a value of a random angle from. Okay, let's try running it now. Wow. Wow, our mouse is now running around the room, but now we will adjust the size of this mouse. Make it a bit smaller. Go to display. Set the size to about 60%, okay. Now the mouse is running around the room. But it's running quite fast and we'll slow it down a bit to five. Enter. Now we know how the mouse runs. Next, we will change the costume of the mouse to costumes. Now we will make the mouse move. Okay, let's drag out another block and... Make it change costumes continuously. Next, we will add a delay. Set it to 0 0.1. Okay, now we can see the mouse is changing costumes continuously. Next. Next, we will move on to hitting the mouse, the part where we catch the mouse. And when we click, click on the mouse, the mouse will immediately stop. When we click on the object, the mouse will immediately stop and we will have a block that says when here we will have a block that says when we click on the mouse it will first stop and stand still okay Let's try it. Okay, good. But now... We will add a sound to make it more lively. Go to sound. Choose a new sound. Here we will choose a sound. Wow, yeah. Now we will choose the pop sound. And it's quite fun. So now let's add it in. Now the mouse is standing still. Now the mouse is standing still in place. And now the cat's task is, when the mouse stops, then we will make the cat come over and eat the mouse long. So we will drag out an if block. If the mouse, it will touch when the cat comes over and it touches the cat. Then the mouse will disappear, representing that it was eaten. Okay, let's adjust it. Then put it in task 2, corresponding to character 2. The name of the character is character 2, so it will. When it touches character 2, we will hide it. This character 2. When it's hidden, we need to. Show it from the start. When we click start, we will show the mouse first. But for this to happen, we need to put it in a forever loop so that it can, so that it can recognize. So we'll put it in a loop. Now our task is, okay. Okay, our mouse has disappeared. Now we will add a sound for when the mouse disappears. That will be the sound when it's eaten. Okay, add the eating sound, then we're good. Okay, now let's test it. Here's the spot. Okay, 
Now we will hide it first, then add the sound. Test again. Okay. Now our task is. Next, we will add a score system. Now we will create a score variable. When the cat eats the mouse, we will increase the score by one point. Select the score variable and it will increase by one. And at the start, at the start, our score will be zero. From the start, the score will be zero. Now let's find the mouse. Okay, the score has increased. Next. When we win, if the score is greater than 10, then we will win forever. Now if if our score is greater than 10 or greater than Actually, let's set it to exactly 10. When it's 10, we will end the game and we will win everyone. And now we will end the game by sending a message. Okay, now after the game ends, we will send a message and create a screen. Then create a new character. Win, then adjust the font. Then for win, let's make it blue. Blue. What would you like, comrade? Nothing for me. We will set it to white. Now let's move it up a bit, okay? When it receives a message. At the start, this win text will disappear. And when we win, we will make it show the win text. And now, we will add And when we receive the game win message, we will make it appear. And we will add a sound, a victory sound. Okay, now let's put it together. This is the screen. After playing the sound, we will stop everything, and today we will. Next, we will duplicate the mice. To make 10 of them, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Now let's test the game. Let's see how our game is. Wow, now we have 10 mice, okay. Let's test it out. Wait for the cat to eat. Okay, cat eat. Now we have won the game. Thank you everyone for.